Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I just had to do a video quickly, not very long, to show you what happened when I went to collect the mail today. Perpetual came by to get me, like a little old couple where the lady doesn't drive and the man takes her here, there, and everywhere. And I've got my mail, and my dear, sweet, loving, wonderful, Batty Bowman, uh, to whom I refer as Batty, uh, as Batty Woman, I forgot what I called her, sent me some things in the mail. And I just think they're so delightful that I wanted to share with you. I have done something to my back today, ladies and gentlemen. So if I look stranger than usual, that's why. Also, I put this up behind me because you know how when I come at you wildly from the kitchen, I usually say those dishes behind me are clean. It's not very clean behind me, so I just thought I'm going to cover it up. You know, like if mother's coming across the yard, I just whip everything into the oven and hopefully don't preheat it later. So, <clears throat> went and got the mail. I mentioned in passing once in a video that I really miss having a neck pen because I used to wear them all the time, you know, and I would clip my press pass on here and everything for the paper. What do you know? I go, I get this package from Batty, a Batty woman, really Batty Bowman. Look what she got me. Clearly, you know, across the pond gifts, ladies and gentlemen, all of these. This has all kinds of different colors. I will demonstrate how it works real quick. We'll just use the purple. And I suppose this will work. See, look. It writes. And then you don't have to leave it on your neck, of course. You take it off your neck. And it has a little, whatever they're called, doodad, that it goes back on. And you run down the street chasing a story and whip somebody aside and Take out your, of course, I whip out my tape recorder if I interview people. Okay, that's number one. Then she got me this sticker, the Scottish and American flag, ladies and gentlemen, together again. And it's from a place called Scottish Gifts. It's a sticker. I'm going to put it on my laptop because I don't want it anywhere outside or, you know, on a piece of paper for the show or any of that. I mean, how thoughtful. Then, I am madly in love with her dog. It's a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, or it's a Cavalier King Charles. or It has King Charles Spaniel and Cavalier all in the name, ladies and gentlemen. I love him. I want to just kiss his cheeks. Oh, they're so adorable. You'll see why. She sent me two pictures of our dear Monty. Picture number one. I mean, look at him. Do you see why I have a deep affection for Monty? Perpetual fell in love with him as well as I'm whipping into these gifts. And then here's the other picture of our dear sweet boy, Monty. He gets into the biscuits, which I don't really know if that means cookies or crackers or animal treats, but it's a UK thing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Then we have, you know how I, my hat that I wear. She got me this. It's the Scottish and American flag, which I'm going to, of course, leave on there. That's where it will be. As long as it doesn't jam me in the head. You know what I'm saying? If not, it'll go somewhere appropriate. But isn't that nice? I mean, honest to Pete. And then, she made me a homemade card. It's so beautiful. It says, have a wonderful day. And it has, um, I'm going to show it to you, but it has these raised butterflies. You know, like 3D stuff. And have a wonderful day. And, you know, like I said, look at how beautiful and detailed this is. And she made it. She made this. And a, a lovely little thing. Um, I hope you like these uh, friendship, little friendship tokens. Thank you for just being you. Lots of love. I love that woman. So I just thought I am going to whip everything aside and do a quick video. I am actually working. So I've been away from the job of making phone calls and stuff for a little bit since Perpetual ran me downtown. The funny thing is... We're pulling into the parking lot of the Golden Dawn, getting out. That's our local market. And um, there's Mother coming in at the same time, and then a gentleman named Bill Singletary. Really interesting guy. So we all kind of had old family, old home week in the market. So that's all. I'm done. I just wanted to come at you and show you this delightful stuff. Batty, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I mean, how thoughtful. I'm really honored. I'm humbled. I'm, what does Benny always say? I'm filled with love. My heart's overflowing with total love for you. Thank you. I mean, honestly, I, this will be on me as well as the apron. It's just will be. Whatever will be, will be. Right now, I'm going to make it so it's... I don't know what I'm doing with it here. There we go. Now, nothing's sticking out. I can't accidentally write on the cat or something. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And always remember that war is a racket. 
Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say about the whole situation. Love you. Thank you. Thanks again, Batty. Bye-bye.